40,000 meter long rainwater harvesting tank was cleaned today and all the fishes have been caught and put it into the big big drums <laughs> filled up with the fresh water and then I also jumped into the water. <laughs> When I came back to the cottage, there was no water. There was some problem with the water. So I directly came inside here and the people who were dressing me up, they were really stinking, the body stinking. <laughs> so that's how I'm here, stinking man in front of you. Init Mary Blyton, born 11th August 1897 in London, died in 28th November 1968 in London, was an English children's writer whose books have been worldwide bestsellers since the 1930s, selling more than 600 million copies. Her books are still enormously popular and has been translated into 90 languages. As of June 2019, Blyton had fourth place of the, for the most translated author. She wrote a, on a wide range of topics including education, natural history, fantasy, mystery and biblical narrative. She is best remembered today for a naughty, famous Five Secret Seven, The Five, five Find Outers and Mallory Towers books. Although she also wrote many others, including the St. Clark's, the Naughtiest Girl, and the Faraway Tree series. Need Mary Blyton said, the best way to treat obstacles is to use them as stepping stones. And there was a famous quote about the richest man of India, the Tata Company chairman, kept telling and his quotes keep running around the country. He says, when people start throwing stones at you, I take them and start building up buildings. <laughs> and one German man came to me in my Indranaga blind school and he told me, Rakum, when I see these huge, huge, beautiful buildings around over here, I was thinking, Many of the Indian people are very poor and how these people have got such big, big buildings. Maybe they are running companies and they are not sharing. They must be robbing from their, <laughs> from the employees. Otherwise, how could they make such big buildings? Big, big companies like Tata, Birla, Ambani's, when, when they show off their huge, big money power, and they give a pittance to the people as charity. I start thinking of the German man. How did they all make money? If they had shared it, they could have given that secret to the poor also and brought them up. At least they all joined together to at least make the rainwater harvesting. So all over India, people has got enough water. One year collected rainwater, they can use it for three years. Instead, they created floods and keep killing people and make them again go back to live in poverty. Solar for all the houses, they do not have to pay electricity bills. That has not been taught. In it, Mary Blyton says, the best way to treat obstacles is to use them as stepping stones. Beautiful, yes. Use them as stepping stones. Learn a lesson from, from your torture, goes the saying. Instead of getting involved and you, if you concentrate on the obstacles, then you, you become an obstacle in your life. The saying says, when there is an obstacle, learn a lesson from the obstacle. But here they say, convert that obstacle to your benefit. And if all the stones have been thrown at people and people start building, I think there won't be any stones left in India. People have not been taught. The best way to treat obstacles is to use them as stepping stones. The obstacles are there. And obstacles were created. First of all, there is no obstacles. Learning from that obstacles as a stepping stone is stupidity. One part is, how did the obstacle first of all come? You are very strong. And if anybody is creating an obstacle for you, mean they must be very stronger than you on one part. So it's better to learn more from them. 
or if you are very strong if another person is coming to create an obstacle then you have to break that obstacle that needs guts from where the guts come you do not have to buy from the bookstore you do not have to buy from the flipkart or amazon it comes it is right inside you as a battery keeps charging call your samskriti your culture which is from your childhood when when you that is not been connected to your family and to the joint family in the family tree then everything is an obstacle the best way to find three obstacles use them as stepping stone then you have to use this like a stepping stone no it's not possible nobody has done it if that was a uh, uh, method used almost all the world people could have been in much better position the best way to treat obstacles is to use them as stepping stones yes we have to first go back to find out that first of all there is we shouldn't create that obstacle we should not get into trouble to not get into trouble we have to be careful you have to be observant we have to be, have to be very conscious about our our movement and the, to treat obstacles means treat diseases and the obstacle come in the diseases because you are not did your fasting you are not done your kriya for cleansing the internal parts you have not given your body rest all the cars when they run for so many kilometers the heat is so much the driver will pull to the side for for the heat to come down before you go run the cars even the high tech cars also the same situation the body when it runs for a long time that means run in the sense of keep eating non stop then it is best you have to give the body a rest total rest by drinking only distilled water but in india we find there there is a lot of fasting in that fasting they take a lot of fruits a lot of fried items they take a lot of snacks and they call it fasting that is overeating that is the double the obstacle and that created a lot of problems and people end up in the hospitals only distilled water you drink so that the whole body pipeline is cleaned thoroughly and body gets enough rest when body gets enough rest it acts like a mechanic to clean up all the problems in the in the cars when the car is gone to the workshop what does the workshop man does he he treats the car but the car is running he cannot go under the car to make sure the car has to be greased or oiled or cleaned up or connected find out mistakes so body needs that that is the one part of the obstacle the mind is also an obstacle in the in your studies when you are unconscious conscious and unconscious when you are unconscious and you are not observant when you are conscious and observant from consciousness and observation comes from where from your samskara so practice everything is that small thing it is not too difficult every diseases every problem starts from that small thing the consciousness and your observation the consciousness and observation you lost at this two method they that is in and the yang positive and negative this two positive and negative only can create electricity this two when you lost where, where did you lose it where did you lose it this story goes the grandmother was searching something outside the house so we went and asked granny granny what are you searching and granny said i lost my needle so we all went and searched for the needle we couldn't find the needle so we asked the granny granny can you please tell us where did you lose the needle she said i i lost it in my room by granny if you lost it in your room why are you searching outside the house it is because there was no light inside the room that story was very good but are you also doing the same thing you have lost your consciousness of observation power because you lost your needle you lost your family the love of your family you forgot to respect your father and mother husband forgot to love the wife wife forgot to love the husband they both take things for granted and when the children doesn't respect them when they don't uh, then, then there is civil war going inside the house the, the chiguru will not come the new bran uh, branches will not come and you can't find the sprouts 
and when you don't can't find the spouse, you can't find the family tree. You get disconnected from your relatives and they, they, they keep teaching you relatives are related thieves. And you believe that. You said friends are the people. Friends are not your people. Relatives are your people. They disconnect you from relatives. When you got disconnected from relatives, you got disconnected from a joint family. When you got disconnected from a joint family, you lost your family tree. Now you are disconnected like the kite. You, you are pulling the kite and you are disconnected from the, from the pull. Somebody disconnected the rope. The wire and the kite goes and falls in somebody else's stairs. It cannot fly. You have to fly only if you are the family. The family is conscious. You can fly only if you are in the joint family. And that is observation. And that stands the family tree. The, in it, Mary Blighton said, the best way to treat obstacles is to use them as stepping stones. You don't have to use them. And it's not possible to use them also. But you can use them and there can be, you can avoid obstacles by going back to your family, go back to your family.